You may be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of Dansby versus Simpson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Dansby, you're petitioning the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant, Ms. Simpson, has been lying in her claim that you are the father of her three-year-old son, Tenoris. Now, Ms. Simpson, you're countersuing Mr. Dansby for child-rearing expenses in the sum of $3,361.56, which is half of the money you claim to have spent on Tenoris. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Dansby, why is it that's taking you three years to petition the court for a DNA test? Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Um, the reason why it took three years, ma'am, because Ms. Simpson, she, she, she had been lying to me. She had been, it was so much shade. She had another dude who she was dealing with. I mean, it was one particular really? morning I had caught. No. What it was that I had been trying to get you to do a DNA test, but you chose to run. You didn't want to go to the child support place to do the DNA test. Is that true, Mr. Dan? So, ma'am, that's not true. Ms. Simpson, she had been lying. I had doubts about this kid, Tanaris. Is this so much as my son? She have not let me see. I have, I don't even know the kid. But I mean, how? Went how can I let you see him and so when the, I can't find you? The you, you knew where I was. You, you got I in don't know where you at. Facebook. You don't stay in one spot. So you, therefore, how can I on. find you? You got in contact with me through Facebook with one of my okay. family. Okay, Mr. Dansby, let me ask you this though: What effort have you made to try to get I had, the DNA well, tested? Well, 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 Your Honor, it was times where I had reached out to Miss Simpson. I had got in contact with Miss Simpson through phone. If it was so much as my son, why, why, why haven't you brought the kid around me? The All right. Kid, Carol, another why man, should like, I have so to bring you down? I want to understand this relationship more, and, and I can see right now, nobody made enough of an effort to get a DNA test, but that's why you're here today. Yes. Um, so take me back. All right. This relationship. Okay. How did it start? Man, we met through a mutual friend. She moved me into her home but she was staying there with her other two kids. Miss Simpson had another man who she was dealing with. When you met her, oh, explain. Okay, what happened was, it was one particular school morning. I was getting her kids ready for school. Okay, I got them on the school bus. Miss Simpson was taking a shower that morning. I just so happened caught the phone call. It was another dude. He was shocked to hear me. I don't like recall I that him. phone call. I and don't later, recall later on, I had, me, I had talked to Miss Simpson about the, the strange phone call. And she told me that it was the dude that was paying her phone bill. No, okay. no, no. So I'm lying on you? Yes, you are lying. I caught the phone call. You but, told but me about the you're dude. You're lying. You told me about the dude. Well, well, Miss Simpson, how do you know he's lying if you don't remember the conversation? That's how I know he's lying because I don't recall of it. If it was the truth, I remember. That man told me it. that you was his lady. Point blank. How and I asked you about this lady it. and you stand you will stand with me. If that the case, why would I have Mr. You Dansby, the me? man told you that she was his lady? Yes. And then what did you say? No. I I, I spoke with her about it. I thought he heard So you all voice. just hung up after that you hung up and then that's when you had the conversation yes, with her. Yes, yes. All right, so from at that point, you were on notice there was another man. Another man. You the knew picture. there was some man in the picture in your mind. Exactly. Okay, so how does this translate as, as it moves forward and you find out she's pregnant? Are okay, you... Okay, after the strange phone call, she... We had went to visit her dad in her hometown, where he from, which is Vidalia, Georgia. Okay, we went down there, and she said she was feeling sick that particular day. So and we I went was. to the pharmacy, she went and took a pregnancy, a pregnancy test. Yeah. Okay, and then after that, she said she... It came out to find out that she was pregnant. Did you immediately assume you I had were... my doubts. I immediately right assumed... from the beginning. So if you had right your doubt, if, if right you didn't think back. that this baby was yours, why did you so-called put on like you was happy? Because I didn't want to rain on nobody parade, Miss Simpson. But don't no, rain. I mean, rain on my parade. Oh, right. I don't you had, want. You had I don't rain on my parade. Miss Simpson, you had me around one, all your family. I don't members. want you giving me this energy that you're happy about this child when you're not happy about this child. So you all were a couple having a baby. Right. She told me that this just was like he child. went on and told his. Wait a minute. Sister, she was. She, man, this, this, this Miss Simpson. Miss Simpson stated over the phone that Tanara wasn't none of my child. When did she say this? She, okay, and that came. This was like. A while. Uh, it was three months out before he was even born. It was not three months. It was not three months. I had well, hold no on, hold on. I want to understand this. Get me to this conversation three months before the baby was even born where you say she told you the baby wasn't even yours. I asked... We, we, was, over the, we was talking over the phone, and um, she somewhat got an attitude with me 
about the situation. About yes, the I did. I did. I sure you know did. Because she had told me who want to deal with somebody's child. child. So you got into an argument. We got into an argument. And about she it. said. She said that tonight wasn't none of my child. And did you say that, Miss so Simpson? Like, yes, I did. Why right. did you say that? Because I don't want to deal you. with that child issue with him. I would rather sit here and go through it by myself than be stressed out about whether or not he's going to play a part in my child life. You had While another man. I mean, you keep bringing up another man. Miss Simpson, did it you? Ain't even were were you man. with anyone else? Were you sleeping with anyone else? It was a possibility of someone else. So, so you admit there was another man? Yes, Your Honor, it was. At what point did you admit to Mr. Dansby that there was another man? It was maybe three months into the pregnancy. So that is the conversation he's speaking about when you said this is not even your child? Yes. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Why is it you don't believe anything okay, she said? Okay, the reason why I have my, my, my doubts about Miss Simpson because she a compulsive liar. This is my timeline. For your Outlines life. all of the lies. All Walk of the me lies. through this. Deceit, I want to understand everything. this. Everything. We met through a friend. Uh-huh. Okay. In November 2011, that's when you got the old man phone call. Yes, I got the phone call from the old dude. And he was shocked to hear me just like I was shocked to hear from him. All right. Okay. And, and then, moving forward, she announces the pregnancy. Yes, yeah, she, she announced that. She told everyone she was pregnant. I had my doubts about that, about her being so pregnant. So you were doubtful again and felt like there was something shady going on then, yes, too? Yes, it was a lot of shade going on with Move me. forward to April 2012. That's when she told you... That's when she told me that I wasn't the father. So now you really questioning. I'm questioning Yolanda, like... A quick, one behind the other. I'm trying to find out where she, where's the truth. Is okay. she lying to me or not? So now, July 2012, Tenoris is born. Yeah, she, he was born, and she. I was trying to... I, I, I had got in contact with me, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to find out whether to deal with my son or not. And she told me... Because like, you weren't there at the hospital when he was born. No, I was not. It was another man there when, he, when he, she was in the hospital. There, there was? Yes, there yeah, was. The was child, there... The was child. there... Oh, Miss Simpson, yes, there was? was? Who is this man? It was the guy that I had been dealing with for a while, and then we broke it off, and then yeah. that's when I started dealing with Mr. Dansby. And then mm -hmm. me and this guy started back dealing. So, therefore, he stepped up to the plate, and he helped me with my child. All right, so let me jump ahead in this timeline to October 2014, I, I, yeah, when October you say it's the first time you that, met Tenoris. What was shady about that? That was my first time ever seeing tonight, but I feel like it is so. And she's saying, and she's so confident about this, my son. Why it took for me to, why it took three years for me to see Tenaris? Okay, but I got evidence that. Okay, we did you take You put a on picture. Facebook. You we put did. on What is that evidence, ma'am? It is a picture of him and Tenaris. I he took the picture. Ron, will you hand that to me, please? This is a picture of. Of uh, me and Tenaris. Yes. Mr. Tenaris. Dansby and Tenaris. Yes. That was my first time ever seeing Tenaris that, that same day. My family members, they seen but Tenaris. But if you didn't think he was your, why would you say, like father, like son? I shouldn't have to drive an hour and a half just for him to meet my child. Yes, true. No, you might not have had a car, but at the same time, you could have found a way to come and see this child. You knew okay. why I stayed. Young. You could have reached out through Facebook. Or you, you felt like he wasn't making enough effort. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, it had been several occasions, several times I had tried to reach out to Miss Simpson as far as me and her getting together, sitting down and talking like grown people about Tanaris. She, she, it was all talk, no, no action with Miss Simpson. Miss Simpson stayed and so three hours in a away. year, though, Mr. Dancy. I stayed three couldn't, hours now. You couldn't get a ride for an hour and a half or a bus. Time, or... Now, it, judge, Your Honor, it had been times where I had people, I had rides to lined up to take me to visit Miss Simpson and Tanaris. And, and what would happen? But did you call? Did you try to reach out? Miss Simpson used to. Did you call? Did, did you try I call? To reach I, it had been plenty of times I had called did you, Miss Simpson. But you didn't say that you wanted to see this child. I would call you. That's the only reason I would call on your phone. Okay, like, but so Mr. Dancy, you think you she was dodging you? Yes, yes. I really do feel deep down that she was dodging me, man. Dodging you for what? Why? Why would I want to dodge you? Because you, you had been lying to me. a child that need a father. So why was I, why would I dodge you when my child need a father? Man, can I? Can I? My dad, my, my dad went there for me when I was a kid. So I take this very like deep. I, as far as I do want to know that who his father is. I do want to be his father. Yes, because you don't want that cycle. Because I, I got three kids of my own. I got three girls.
I take care of all my kids. She know that. I don't understand why it's so funny. Have you stepped up since this picture and you met Tanaris? Have you stepped up to help support him? I mean, yes, I've been supporting Tanaris. Yes. How? Child support? Yeah, child support. Okay. And that just started, but like... it's not about the money. I, I need no, the bond with this. I need the bond with him if, if he's my son. Okay. So you, you know, understand you need to understand it. it. But have, have you bonded with him? No, I have not had the opportunity to bond with him. I only seen him one time, man. That's In it. your life? Wow. In my life. Wow. I only seen him one... And that was only for, like, two hours. He don't even know me. He don't... So, he don't know me. The man is saying he wanted to bond with the child. He wanted to be more active in the child's life. It just doesn't seem to add up. Well, I mean, I understand. But I feel like he didn't put as much effort into it to get me to bring you, my you child. Was, because the reason why, because you're right. lying to me. You should never told me. So, I heard that. As it relates to your suit, you have evidence outlining the expenses you've yes, incurred thus far. I'd like to see that. Jerome, will you hand it to me, please? Please explain to me, Ms. Simpson, the expenses that you've outlined here. Of course, food, bottles. Yes. What else have you bought um, from the child? Clothes, diapers. They total $6,723.12, which is why you're suing for half that amount because yes, you ma'am. feel like that is what's owed to you. Yes. Because that's what he should have contributed. Now, you understand I can't rule on your suit until it is determined whether or not Mr. Dansby is, in fact, Tenoris' biological father because he would have no legal responsibility to care for the child financially if, in fact, it is not his biological child. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Dansby, have you made any contribution to the upbringing of this child financially? I know you haven't seen him a lot I mean, thus they, far. They, they, they be taking money out of my check every time I get paid. For Tanaris. How much have they, they taken taking, out? They be taking 100. It don't took like shh, about 360 from me already. 240. 240. 360. 240. 240. They don't yes. take it. They don't took that's money out. That's all like I have received. Is 240. And that so they took $360, but you've received $240, yeah. ma'am. Okay. If this is my child. Why you haven't brought this man? Let me meet the kid. Let me bond with the kid. If you and know for a fact that my child. results in. You keep talking about results, but you, when we you get say, these results and it's in print that Sonoris is your, you can have all the time that you want with your child because my child deserves a father. I, yeah, he do this. He didn't ask for none of this. But at the same time, it's, I feel then, as though. I feel as then, though. And so then, you will not get a bond until I, I get won't this get print. A, that but you yours. say this my son for sure though. Like you, yes, you confident? He's yours. You one hundred and ten. He's yours. You you very confident it's about very this? Very confident that he's yours. Why you won't let me take? The, you you Ms. won't let me. Miss Simpson, me. let me ask you this: Before I go to these results, are there any other men we need to know about that you've left out of the conversation? Mr. Dansby has been very clear very. that your facts are sometimes a little shady. And yeah. all the facts aren't always there when you tell a story. Let's just no, say Your that. Honor, is, right, no is there way. anything else you'd like to say in this courtroom today before I go to the results? Once we get these results, I need for you to step up and be a father no to problem. my son. I have no problem with doing that, Miss Simpson. Okay. I would have been stepped up had you would have just kept it real with me. Okay. So, you see what I'm saying? Don't lie to me. Don't do that. So, Miss Simpson, Miss Simpson, what you're saying is that there is no way, no how and no chance that anybody else could be to Norris's father besides Mr. Dansby. No, you're on. All right, Jerome, I'm right. ready for the envelope. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Dansby versus Simpson, pertaining to three-year-old Tenoris, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Dansby, You 
are to Norris's father. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Well. I've said it this been yeah. many days, and I've asked uh, men to enumerate. Tell me what your doubt is and what it's based on. And there are some times when, you know, men just get in their head that they're not the father, they can't be the father, but they can't talk about and really explain why they're doubtful. In this case, Mr. Dansby, you had a right to be doubtful. I know, man. I mean... You did. And ultimately, Ms. Simpson admitted that. But now we have the truth. I feel, I, I I feel good about the results. I can't up and say, Dad, I'm sorry for all the trouble that I have took you through. So now can we start out to a better start for our child? Sure. No yes! Sure. Yes! I love that. I love that. Sure. Good for you, Miss Simpson, because that's what this courtroom is all about. Now, in light of today's results, that in fact, Tanaris is Mr. Dansby's biological child, Miss Simpson, you are entitled to half of the amount of money that you've spent thus far raising to Norris. Now, you came to court suing for $3,361.56. Is that correct? Yes. You do acknowledge you've received $240 thus far from Mr. Dansby, right? Yes, Your Honor. So, for that reason, the court can award you $3,121.56 in child-rearing expenses. Mr. Dansby, you are responsible for that. This is your child. Yeah. Pay it and keep paying. Then my son. Because he needs your support, all right? It's very Judgment for the defendant, court is adjourned.